The time now 947. Carl Nelson's here from the Imagination Station. Carl, I'm seeing glass and safety glasses, so I'm going to take... You should put them on. All right. Okay, so... What are we doing today? I brought a variety of glass, and Kay. we're going to do some impact testing on the glass. Does that mean I get to smash stuff? Possibly, Because I'm yes, loving yes, it. Yes, yes. All right. So, put your gloves on. Okay. And so I brought with me... The first piece of glass we're going to look at is just a piece of ordinary uh, plain glass, like you might find in a mirror, photo frame, something like that. Okay. And this is probably not going to be too surprising, uh, the result here, but let's just see what happens. Go ahead and take the mallet and just give it a... Give it a, a tap. A tap? A tap. Right in the center. Okay. Give it a, give it Harder. There we go. All right. That's what we're looking for. That's what you were going for. Okay. So, this sort of glass is going to break into very sharp, pointy mm -hmm. objects like I did this. this yesterday. I broke a photo frame. This is really? what happened. Yes. Okay, cool. So, obviously, this is the kind of glass you don't want to have in the windshield of your car. You don't right. want this flying at you no. in a collision. Okay? So, glass manufacturers have come up with a really clever way to take that kind of glass. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you take a piece of that glass, you take a piece of a uh, resin, mm -hmm. and you sandwich the two pieces of glass around the resin, ah. and heat it up. Okay. That resin will turn clear. Then you have this. This is a sheet of laminated glass. Okay, and that's okay. what we have on our car windshield. This is what's your windshield, exactly. Okay. So, I'm going to have you go ahead and try the same thing with that. And this one is a little tougher, so you might want to ratchet it up a bit. All right, I'll it give it some real oomph. Give good thing good, I ate breakfast. Perfect. So this glass will do the same thing. It'll break in that spider web sort of pattern. Right. But the glass sticks together. It will not come apart. And if you're unlucky, this might have happened to your windshield once before. <laughs> yes. And this can also stop things from coming in and stop you from flying out of the car. Okay. Okay, so um, laminated glass. Hmm. Now, that's the windshield. The side panels on your car are made of something called tempered glass. Right, And I okay. have to give a thanks to A1 Auto Parts for donating a bunch of glass nice. to me. Nice. All right, so this is... Uh, tempered glass and the what this is you take a piece of glass you heat it up and mm -hmm. it starts to expand sure then you suddenly blast the outside with cold air so the outside starts to contract while the inside is still expanding okay you build up a lot of stress inside that glass mm -hmm. makes it very tough sure so we're going to give you the rubber oh you're this up one. in the ante so oh. go ahead and give that a, a whack in the middle let's see what happens I, sh I should point out that this glass i've coated with uh packing tape okay is that just for that's for safety you'll right. see in a second go ahead and keep going harder Harder. Keep going. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. It's, it's, it's. <laughs> all right. Let's let's switch to the. All right. All right. The metal okay. Go to the metal mallet. Hit it again. Again. Okay. Carl. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. You can you can stop. All right. All right. You can see how tough this is. This is good anger management. I like it. <laughs> now, the cool thing about the, te the tempered glass is if you can just break the surface mm -hmm. of that contracted and expanded material, sure. you should be able to get this to snap with just a very light tap of this very, very sharp <sighs> I've seen one of these hammer. before. Yes. Yep. Okay. So Let go ahead and give that a try. Okay. Just a little tap? Yeah. Just hit it. Look at that. One whack. Got it. And you've got it. And you can see... It, it sticks together, okay? Yeah. Um, because I put the tape on the back. Sure. If I didn't have the tape on the back, this would have flown all across the studio. Okay. Okay, this is what you have on the front, uh, I'm sorry, on the side and the back panels of your car. And this is what they say that you should have in your car just in case your car were to go into water or something like that. You can give it a little. T -t -t Correct, because out. this would turn into tiny little pieces of glass that, and again, the tape's holding it together. Very interesting. So, in fact, I do have one last one. I've all never right, tried, one more. I've never Carl. tried one this big. One more. We're almost out so, of time. All right. All right. So go ahead and give this a little whack. Let's. I'll hold it up. Just for a you. little tap here. A little tap in the middle. All right. Very cool. So Very this would be neat. a back window for your car. Okay. Again, the tape's holding it together. This would totally blow out as an explosion of sorts. Well, look at that. Your car uses science to make these windows. Very neat, Carl. Thanks so much for coming in. Just a reminder. Children get in free today at the Imagination Station, those 12 and under, correct? And dads get in free tomorrow for Father's Day. There you go. Carl Nelson, thanks so much for coming in. That's this week's Imagine It. <laughs>